The first night we got here, uh, Julian actually wet his bed. Oh, my bed! And we're about to spill more tea here today. Oh my gosh, Yo. no! <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to do it again. But before we get into the reveal wheel, let's take a look at what fans have been saying about the show in the comment section. No! Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Please, no! Someone commented, the fact that she said, I make more money than you and I made your career. I literally miss a girl. No one knew who you were before this. Hey, I make more money than you. Like, hello. Damn. Oh! I'm sure we know who she's talking about. They hit me with that one. Likes. In my defense, I started YouTube when I was 12. So therefore, someone did know who I was. <laughs> That's a good defense. That's very good. <laughs> Next comment, here we go. Coley is the type of girl to say, I have a boyfriend every time someone asks for a pencil. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. I good, Coley. Good. Just, you're just like that, that girl that's now. like- That is me now, that is me now. Yeah, good, own up to it. Why is everyone picking on Gabby? Like, bruh, she hasn't been rude. Hey, I didn't pick on Gabby. That's hey, not I didn't fun. pick on Gabby. I just ranked her low, that was about it. Yeah, didn't you kiss Gabby? I'm gonna say something. I was pretty rude in some in some moments. Everyone was. I was. When I look back at that show, you guys were all super rude. It's all good. <laughs> I, love I was the least rude one. I was so nice to you. I feel like everyone was rude and everyone got picked up. No, guys. Owen was the least rude, but at least at least we weren't fake. I, I don't fake. care. I was, I don't I was, was the most back. authentic. Owen was the fakest. The Yo, you poured water on me. <laughs> I, I literally don't care, guys. I don't hold on to grudges. I love you all. I don't care. Not Owen ranking Sabrina low because she friend zoned him. Oh. As she should. As she should. Oh. I'm not going to be so a amazing. simp and rank someone high who just friend zoned me. Like, you're getting at the bottom. You did that to yourself, Sabrina. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that do it again. And finally, we have... Here's my opinion. Owen doesn't deserve to win because he cheated his way through and even when he got caught, he found a way out of it and did it again, but in a different way. <laughs> That's like literally, that means I should win. That's yeah, literally saying exactly. why I should win. Like the fact that I was able to get I, out I, of it I, and like, what? I don't know if I agree with that. Ew, with a little what? help, I did get a little uh, help from you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all went hard in the comments, I can't lie. But now it's time to reveal some of our own tea on the reveal wheel, let's get it. So, here's how it works. We're gonna spin a virtual reveal wheel and whoever it lands on has to reveal something about themselves that the audience doesn't already know. Owen, you're up first. All right, let's just get this spin over with. Here we go. Oh, good boy, spin that one. Don't be cold, don't be cold, don't be cold. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! Oh, Coley, 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 what can I spill on you today? Don't do me dirty, bro. Okay, I think I got something that no one else really knows. Um, after the Susanita story, uh, Coley left like a little puddle of pee because she was dying of laughter. And then, but here's the, here's the crazy part though. Even before the Susanita story, I would walk around the house barefoot sometimes and I would step in puddles and oh my god, was that your pee, Coley? Oh my god! I have a bad bladder problem. My <laughs> I stepped in your pee! Up. Yes, I peed maybe three times on the show, my pants. But I may, like, I mean, like, I don't think there was puddles like that you would step in. I don't know what that was. But there was a, there was a little, a little droplet, a little puddle after the Susan Lita story. I will be honest. Okay. Let's go ahead and spin this wheel. I'm so close. Oh! Not oh. <laughs> a roomie. My girl since day one, Sabrina. <laughs> so low key, on the down low, you already know our wall is thin. It is like a piece of paper. So we could hear every time there was confessions and the directors would be like, okay, everyone be quiet. Like, can you girls hear anything? Yeah, we lied. We lied. We heard it all. 
guys, Sabrina and I heard every single confession of you guys. So we were just like, wow, okay, okay. Every so single one. Every single one. Every, single word. every, every word. We heard Jada and Gabby all throughout the night. Everything they were saying. So that's why the tea was so built up and we were just so on fire the whole time. And we weren't gonna say anything, but here I am. We heard everything. <laughs> okay, so now it's my turn to spin the wheel. Ooh. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Y'all really, all right, whatever. Let's just get through this. She's got something that she's thinking about that she doesn't want to say, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it. So something people don't know about Julian is that I knew about the alliance the entire time and every time he would lie to me, I would go to Valeria and tell her that he was lying to me because I knew <laughs> the entire time oh. and I could see right through him. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> she knew. I mean, I knew that she knew. <laughs> I was just trying to be loyal. So you just kept lying. <laughs> Dude, I lied to everyone. I was trying to be loyal to That's the That's my guy. <laughs> You're pulling it out anything, of it. Anything out of it. Lies. <laughs> Julian, it's your turn to spin the wheel. Oh, oh, right. oh. Let's see who it is. Who's I'm scared. I'm scared. <gasps> oh, Val? Oh. <laughs> okay, that. I was on a group FaceTime with Valeria. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Now that she's single, <laughs> <laughs> this girl, I see on one of my friends' private story on a sushi date, double date. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. No, whose Lambo was it? No, With who? Who Lambo was it? He goes by he goes by the name Lil Pump. Lil Pump. No! Oh, oh, Lil Pump. Oh, oh, what? You were not. Oh, Lil Pump. I saw you posted up in his house, Valeria. I saw you posted up in Lil Pump's house. Oh. I saw that. Wait, I ship it. Nice. I ship it. I ship it. I ship it. I ship it. I guess it's my turn to spin the wheel, so he's gonna land on. It's Giovanni! Oh, Giovanni, yes, Giovanni. I have tea. What? what are you gonna say? What? I have tea on you. Okay, oh, so no. supposedly we all know how they wrote the song Pancakes. Um, the song was dedicated to Sabrina, right? But the oh. real tea is that song was written before the show. <laughs> so they lied. Oh, they lied. Sorry. And that song. Is that song is not for Sabrina. Oh man, you guys are another us out here. group of liars. <laughs> I mean, all right, so here's the it's true. Everyone keeps asking us every time we go up, oh, is that song for Sabrina? Did you write that song? And like, if you think about it, it's like it really wasn't because like we didn't have a studio at the house to make the song like right there and then, you know, and like it was made before the show. <laughs> And it was just Julian doing his we, thing. I came up on the spot with it, you yeah. know. But Hey Coley was written out the house and it was for Coley, so. Yeah. Thank you. Thank goodness the wheel never landed on a few of us, but now we're gonna switch gears and answer some questions from fans. Fan question number one for Valeria. How was Project 305 created? Um, okay, well basically it was around the time that like all of these content houses were being created and I, but they were all being created in LA and me being the Miami girl I am was like, oh, I don't know, like we gotta have one here in Miami. So I was like, why don't I just start it? And I was with my friend and we posted a TikTok saying that if we made like a house or like a creator group who would join and we got a bunch of people I think Owen even commented on it like the twins like we found a bunch of people I picked like people that I saw that had potential like people that like I would get along with and then bam it just happened and now we're here so I guess it was a good idea Woo! Thanks for picking me Valeria <laughs> Okay so this one's for me and it says did my conversations with Alex change my perspective about being in the house? To be honest, I wasn't really that involved in the house before the show, so I was just going with the flow, trying to win the competition, and that was that was it. So, yeah, I still feel the same way. So this one's for Coley. Were the sugar packet moments planned, or do you actually eat that much sugar? So fun fact, when I was a child, I was not allowed to have any sugar. My family was super healthy. I didn't have cake, any of that, till I was like, I don't know, 14 or 15. So the reason why I'm so like sugar candy now is because I was never like given it when I was younger. So yeah, it is real. I actually, I don't eat like 50 a day. I'll have like two, calm down guys. <laughs> okay, this question's for Giovanni. What was the most embarrassing moment that happened in the house but wasn't caught on camera? 
the most embarrassing thing. I don't know, or no one's ever really done this to me, so I was very mad at you. She was like, wait, which one is Giovanni? And she called me annoying a lot. So I told her I was very upset, and she tried writing me an apology letter. I was like, oh, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry for mixing you up with Julian. Bro, we're in the house for two weeks. You guys should have known by now. He was next to Sabrina the whole time. Like, what? What did the letter say? I didn't read it. <laughs> Remember it's saying, like, I'm sorry for mixing up your name, like, with Julian. Please forgive me. By the way, you're not a bad kisser. That was a cute gesture, Jada. To this day, I still don't know which one's which. Next question is for Julian. So, you had a crush on Gabby when you first entered the house. So, when did your feelings start developing for Sal? Okay, let's let's get this straight. So, I know <laughs> in in one of the episodes, I think it's the second one, I said, you know, I was looking forward to building a relationship with you. What I meant by that was friendship. I didn't mean like you know dating. Uh, I should have worded that way better. Then like spin the bottle happened. So like. You know, and that just went from there. The next question is for Raul. Did you know that something was going on when you stepped out of the house to find out that everyone turned against you? I had no idea what was going on. I was taking my, I think it was my physics midterm exam. And all I hear while I'm taking my midterm exam is screaming. And I failed. I was so pissed. I got like a 67. You had such a bad day. <laughs> Yo, he was crying. <laughs> yeah, and I came out of the house. Okay, so I came out of the house and everybody was like, don't even look at me, Raul. I'm like, yo, what? I felt bad for Raul. Did anyone else hear that? Huh? I said your name right. You said my name right? Yeah. When? Wait, pause. Wait, wait, I have to say it again. I have to say it again. Raul, Raul. Oh! oh! The next question is for Gabby. What part of the entire show do you think is the most shocking for fans? I think the most um, shocking part of the entire show was definitely episode 9 when Valeria and I were just going at it. I, I got a lot of comments on that. But I do think that's the most uh, shocking part of the entire show. I agree with that one, I agree. Yeah, I agree. The final question is for Valeria. Is Project 305 over as a house? Ooh. Ooh I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you still a thing or what? I mean, okay, here's the thing. So we were never officially like a house. Like we never actually had a house. We were low-key just like a group. Like we would meet up like every weekend and like film in different like spots. But right now, since there's a pandemic, um, COVID is a thing, we don't really meet up anymore. So I don't really know how to answer that question. If the opportunity does come for us to meet up again and collab and keep posting on the account, then we will. And if not, we won't. We were like the only ones posting on the account. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, the Project 305 account turned into a Julian and Giovanni fan page. Literally, it's a for you guys. <laughs> Yo, the fans love it. They love it. <laughs> well, this was super fun, and make sure to check out Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer if you haven't yet. And also make sure that you guys follow all of our TikToks and Awesomeness TV if you don't already. Bye! 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 Bye.